We just came into Yellowstone National Park and right now you're seeing a shot of the beginnings of the Rockies. We'll be seeing a lot of those on our journey as we go into Canada tomorrow, the Canadian Rockies. And if you pan over this way, we just came into the park about 10 minutes ago and we've already found a herd of cows, a big herd of cows. Yes, they've obviously been grazing for a long time because their bellies have swelled to enormous, enormous proportions. Uh, Erica, yeah? hold on. <laughs> Erica. Yes. <laughs> those aren't cows. Where, where'd you, Erica, where'd you go? Erica. Those are cows. Those are bison. Oh, they're bison. Oh. Erica, remember your storybooks, your picture books? Yeah. When you were in grade school. Yeah. Those are Erica. Yeah. Those are buffalo. That's a long time ago, Dad. Those they are look exactly like cows. No, no, Erica, they're buffalo. I think that they're cows. I, wait a minute. They're really oh, honest oh, to God. They're to the call of cows. Er Erica. Hey, cows. They don't even move. Yeah. Look at these guys. All right, whatever. Shut off the camera. Look at the size. Geyser. It has not erupted since May 2nd, but it shoots sometimes 350 feet into the air uh, when it does erupt. All right. Erica had this great idea that since we were out of hot water for coffee, maybe she could sneak in there and get some hot water for us. Yeah. It might taste a little bit like sulfur, but, you know, I was thinking if I stand to the left over here where it's been splashing, I could just kind of catch it as it came out. Good idea. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Erica? Yeah? Good luck, honey. Thank you. Here we are at Old Faithful. I could have sworn it would let you do it. One of the locals. And a lot of the non locals. <laughs> wow. That really is spectacular. Isn't that cool? Oh. Wow. This is a Watson Lake sign post. Signs from all over the world on the Alaska Highway. All over the world. This is Austin, Texas. Signs from all over the place. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. I'm going to think I've got a screwdriver somewhere in my bag. Good idea. Guess we might have got up here a little early. This is Kiwani, uh, Kiwani Lake. Still frozen over. Oh well. Sure hope we can find some open water to fish. We are now at the highest point of the Glen Highway. Here we are. Hey, Dad, how's the view over here? Okay. Chugash Good. Mountains. Chugash Mountains. And just about that direction, in a few days, we'll be picking up the uh, Prince William Sound kayak trip. Woohoo! Puppy dog. Hey, puppy. Hey, dog. puppy. How you doing? That is a real Alaskan puppy dog, huh? Very muddy paws. Yeah. Like yeah. Huh? Oh. You look like a big old polar bear. <laughs> yeah. Polar bear here. Polar bear. Yeah, that's good. He's just leaning on me like I'm going to fall over. <laughs> All right. We'll get back to you guys later.
That made you making those noises? Yeah, that was me. I'm trying to get some response out of her. She's not talking to me right now. There's a loon. Beautiful bird. We're blessed with a beautiful day today, too. It is it's gorgeous. It's rainy and cloudy, but you know what? There's not one out there today. It's it, blue sky and sunny. We're blessed. We're lucky. These are white-headed loons, beautiful uh, birds. Are you sure they're loons? Yeah. The intrepid voyager is paddling. She does not know that I am not paddling. That's why she's going around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> the intrepid oh, voyager. I'm enjoying it. Uh -huh. About, it's about eight o'clock at night. I've caught seven pike. She lies. I've caught none. Lies. They were all 25 pounds or over. I don't know. Look into her right. eyes. You can see that she's lying. Look at the lies in her eyes. Who, me? Indeed. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking to me? Okay, I caught four of them, all right? She's still lying. Oh. A little bit slow today. <laughs> this is Red Shirt Lake. We're going to head down that way and take out. It's about eight o'clock at night. The sun is high. Beautiful. And dinner is still not cooking yet, so let's get moving. Eric is hungry. We want to go back and uh, we want to eat what little fish we do have. We're going to cook up some of that herring that we use for bait. We're going to have French fried herring for dinner. Mm -hmm. Bait herring. As long her as it's got some of Dad's famous garlic dressing on it, there I'll you be go. happy. There you go. Bait, bait fish for bait dinner. Fish. All right. With garlic dressing. Okay, here we go. Again, arm just south of Anchorage. This is more Monday Memorial Day. It's about nine o'clock at night, and there's all the Anchorage people coming back home from the Kenai Peninsula. They're going to work. I'm going down there to play. <laughs> There's Erica, trying for her first king salmon. We're at the Kasilov River. This is not quite combat fishing. There's a lot of room between each fisherman. Beautiful river. Little girl in a boat just caught one. Let's see if I can. There she is. She had the greatest time catching this thing. There she is. Little girl. And the fish is still in the net there. There he is. There's the little girl. Oh. My babies. I'm not looking at your babies. Lake. This is the most visited visitors center due to this beautiful glacier activity that's going on over here. All of the blue parts that you see are um, glacial chunks. Is that right, Dad? Yep. Coming right off of the glacier. And if you'd notice, the water is a very blue, milky color due to the sediment that is in the glacier, and um, very beautiful. The sun shining off of all the parts can really show that blue color. And a 
couple hours we'll be on the train to Whittier. I'm trying. <laughs> This is pretty thick in here. Mm. Ow! That's all we wanted to get to, a road! Oh, look! Civilization! It's been months! Uh, 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 uh. Oh! oh. oh. Look! A street light! Woohoo! Here comes our ride. There's the people coming back from Whittier. We're gonna be on that, going to Whittier. Some kind of a mountain. The lens cap is off, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> look at all the water. Oh, that is so weird. Whoa. This is like a <laughs> Disney ride inside of this dark tunnel. Oh, look, here's the end. Here's the end. Oh, we're coming up to the end. The end of Erica's, the Disneyland ride. Erica's having a ball. <laughs> this is great. Oh, my God. Is that all like. It's water dripping on us. Here we are, coming to the end. Water dripping on us. Oh! Oh, what a spectacular view! Dude. Whoa, Mama! What did you come out to? Oh. So, Dad, being here straight from Canada, what do you think about this uh, this new town that we just came to, Whittier? Well, geez, you know, we come up from the south, and I'll uh, tell you, it's kind of nice being up here in this uh, here uh, United States of America. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of nice folks up here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, I kind of liked it up here, eh? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, anyway, hey, welcome to the Whittier uh, Municipal Campground. We are in Whittier, Alaska, on the other side of the mountain before the road is open, and we pulled in last night uh, for uh, to set up our camp. And here's what we found. Uh, this is Whittier Municipal Campground. If you pan over here to your right, you can see the um, that building there is the uh, is the uh, the, the uh, common area for picnicking, the covered picnicking area. And over here to your to your right, back here, you can see the uh, picnic tables. Behind me are the open areas for uh, picnicking and partying. And now uh, you can also pull your camper right up next to those picnic tables and have your own private little campsite. Yeah. And as you can see, the terrain has been very well graded for us. Um, if you come on slowly back around this way, you'll see uh, these are the private campsites where people can come in and uh, set up their own little campers. We had a little accident with this one down here that's uh, uh, maybe a little bit too much snowfall on that picnic table. We did manage to find a little campsite over here. You can see we're tucked comfortably back into the uh, alder bushes in a lovely, lovely campsite. And we woke up uh, in this lovely mountain area one uh, this morning and we heard these rumbling, grumbling sounds and uh, you can see, uh, gosh, you know, they got these big old, uh, trucks, these big old uh, steam shovels and uh, trucks working back here, eh? And, uh, yeah. And you can see they've got it very lovely landscaped here with all of these wonderful mounds of dirt and gravel and... Uh, and uh, wood and stuff. So, you know, this is not bad for $15 a night, eh? Yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. Good thing no one's come around to collect our money yet. Uh, if they come We'd around to, uh... for money, I'm going to say, we We'd couldn't have... find the campsite. <laughs> we couldn't find the campground. What are you talking about? We'd have to open a can of whoop-ass on them. The whoop-ass. <laughs> So anyway, today we're going to be uh, packing up, getting ready to go. Uh, we'll show you the video of the harbor in a little while, and uh, tomorrow morning we start our kayak adventure. Woo! Excited? Oh, I'm incredibly excited. All right. We're almost ready to go. All right, what's going on up there? They're loading up the kayaks, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Did you get a shot of all of our stuff? We got a lot of stuff. Let's hope it's going to fit Look into these two stuff. kayaks. 
That's not all of it. That's not even all of it. We gotta get all that into two kayaks. Mm -hmm. But they said we can do it. dropping people off of Harriman. Tell us a little bit about Harriman Glacier. Well, Harriman is one of the few glaciers in the first place in the town that are advancing, at least have as of two or three years. Anchorage, hey Chris. Hi. Tell us something about what brings you out here. I used to grow up boating in this area. I've been all around Alaska, but this area is uh, kind of convinced me talking to what he's talking about with the wild lines and berries and stuff. It is a beautiful place. Yeah. Then we got this uh, Alaskan chick back here. <laughs> we got Alaska Erica back here. Yeah. Hey, what brings you out here? I just want to do some great kayaking. I want to see some wildlife. I want to get out there where no one else, want no one else is around. Hey, see some glaciers. What did those guys tell you in that cabin cruiser they were doing out at Harrison Lagoon for the last week? They were shooting back. How black many, bears, how many, seven of them. They shot seven black seven bears. Seven black bears. They cleared out, them, cleared them all out of Harrison Lagoon, so we don't have to worry about black bears. No, no black I'm, bears. I'm taking a, a bear hunters to Harrison Lagoon in about a week, so I won't mention that. Oh, you better not. get dropped off right over in there, right on that snowy bank at Harriman Glacier. And we're got to get loaded up before the tide comes in. There's the glacier right there. We'll probably walk over there. We're on our own, Erica. There they go. And the tide's already come in about six inches. Tide's coming in. Yep. Got to get loaded. Got to get loaded. Okay, well, I'd take more footage right now, but the tide's coming up, so we got to get loaded. We've got our kayaks all geared up and ready to go. We've got all of our gear on, life jacket, uh, um, kayak jacket. We've got a spray skirt, rubber pants, and rubber boots. I could basically walk through the water right now, and I'll be totally waterproof. So uh, we've got all of our heavy stuff in the center of the kayak, light stuff in the, the end, and we're ready to go. And where are we going? We are going to go directly across this uh, this bay right here. We're going to have Harriman Glacier on our left. And I guess it hasn't been caving or okay. calving much lately. So we're going to try and get as close as we can. Cross over. We saw some otters over there on the other side. So we're going to go check it out and see if they're still around. I'm going to catch one. I'm going to skin it and cook it up tonight for dinner. All right. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. once you start getting close. It really is huge. There's Erica in front of Harriman. Okay. And we're about a quarter mile away. Huge cliff of ice. I want to see a big chunk of it fall. We're waiting. They said this is not one of the more active ones right now.
surprise glacier paddling up on it. And right out of the mountain. We just saw a big chunk calve off. It's kind of hard to anticipate it when you don't know when it's going to happen. This is so beautiful in here. This is incredible. Just unbelievable. We'll break before we approach the glacier, but I want to just put in here the uh, uh, Klondike, which is a big touring boat. It'll give you an idea how big that glacier is. There's the Klondike. You can see it's got about three, four stories on it. And they're right up there, probably a quarter mile from the face of the glacier. And after discussion, Dad and I agreed that we're going to um, take the kayaks right about at the same point. So the uh, next footage you'll see is from that area. Uh, I don't think so, Erica. That's a little close. That, that no. guy can take a big wave. We can't. Oh, I can take a big wave. Yeah, you surfing, surfing dude at. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, we're going to go up and check it out a little Waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Getting kind of close to this berg here. Gonna paddle around it here. We've got orcas. They came up right behind Erica. There he is. You can hear Erica screaming. Where is she? Is, there, is that Erica? Yeah. Let me get the stabilization on here. Where is, there's Erica. And the orca came up right behind her. Where is it? There it is. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. See the wave. Where'd he go? There he is. Unbelievable. This is really awesome. Unreal. Eric is having the time of her life. Right behind her. Just scared her to death. She screamed. Let's get back to the glacier. You can hear a lot of noise over here. Sounds like thunder. As you can see, we are in the midst of one heck of a lot of ice here. It's the Margarita, but here it's on the rocks. This is Margaritaville. And all those little dark specks over there are seals and otters. And all that thunder in the background that you hear is coming from that glacier. at night we had dinner we're just checking out the evening view it's gorgeous that's to uh, the west in Harriman Glacier I'm gonna swing around here across the in the sunlight there is a surprise glacier and we're gonna swing around here 
of the fjord. We're waiting on orcas. We're dying to see those fins. And down there is Berry Glacier. And uh, right there, that's home. Home sweet home, our little tent on the cliff overlooking this beautiful view. Absolutely incredible. All right, so we're heading around this corner right here, kind of back the way we came, and we're going to see a triage of sorts of glaciers. Three of them all in a row. I think it's Berry, Cascade, and um, Cox, something like that. All right, you'll see them soon. me. Do you have any gray poop on? But of course. Do you think they're humping? Yeah. Enjoying her morning coffee. You know what? I'm so spoiled. I get my morning coffee and vitamins in bed every single morning of this trip. The major about their summer. Yeah, the waiter brings them to the you. The waiter brings them to me every morning. All right, let me show you a view of what we get to see here. Big mountain and woods behind us. And that's down that direction is where we were yesterday. There's the bergy bits. The tide is out. There's icebergs on the shore. We were way down in that area yesterday. We did about 11 miles yesterday, Erica said from the map. Doing a 360 here. Here's the tide out. You can see all these, this uh, glacial moraine is exposed when the tide is out. There's some more bergs stranded. We're going to be heading down that direction today after we go visit these glaciers that are coming up that I'll show you. There are, you can't hardly see the third glacier, but there's the three glaciers coming in. There's Cox Glacier, Berry Glacier, and then around the corner, around the point here, you can see Cascade Glacier coming down, kind of cascading down the mountain. We're going to paddle down in there, and then we're going to paddle out Port Wells. And she's paddling up towards... Uh, Berry Glacier, and these are where the three glaciers come in together. To the right is Cox, and then to the left is Cascade. You see how Cascade is a receding glacier, it's receded off the water line, and it's actually um, climbing back, receding back up of the rocks. 
lot of activity. We can see a lot. We're still quite a ways away, We're probably a mile and a half away from the face of the uh, glaciers. a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Well, I'm sure glad I had this on then. Eric, I certainly enjoyed it. There's a big old pile of snow down at the bottom now. Let me focus in on this little stream over here. You can see how milky it is. That's why all of the water in these fjords are so... Um, Got the wave. Okay, well, you can see this. I kind of ended that last section because a huge wave was coming our way. I had to put this thing away and uh, try and pre p uh, put the kayak nose into the wave that was coming our way. So, anyway, back to that milky stream there. That's why all the fjords are so milky because the pulverized ground is coming out and those milky streams from these uh, glaciers. That's why all this all this water is so opaque. Okay, now we're going to try and work our way over to Erica. She's way out. But just as beautiful. Pretty awesome. That was a rush back there when yeah, that when that calving happened. That was a rush. Okay, we're going to go on the other side of this protruding part of Barry and check it out. Uh, that's Cox Glacier. There's uh, Barry. And then there's Cascade. We're at the Black uh, Sand Beach area. There's our kayaks. Let's see if they're still on the shore yep tides coming in cox this is one of those waves going out from it Don't want to be caught broadside with that thing in a kayak. We were warned about this. That big wave I was just filming just took our kayaks out to sea. There's a boat out there. I think they're going to come and help us. This is an attempt to get water in Harrison Lagoon through bugs and seaweed. Woo! They're everywhere. Well, this is the beginning of day four on our adventure. We did a long one yesterday. 
I think we did about uh, 15 miles as uh, I look at the charts. We were real tired when we got in, but we got all the way just around the corner from the Harrison Lagoon cabin, which we hope to check into, get into today. We pulled up in this little uh, forested area and just pitched our tent back in the, uh, in the grass underneath a nice pine tree. And we were really tired last night. There's a little cook area right on the beach. The beach came up to about there yesterday, or the uh, water came up to about there in the high tide last night. I got up at 5.04 and checked it out. So we weren't too far from it, but we were high enough that no water came into our tents. We've heard uh, stories about people who have done that and camped too close to the high tide, but we were okay last night. As you can see now, the the tide is out, low tide, so we've uh, we've got a launch in a little while, but we've got a little walk before we can get our kayaks in the water. What brings you to my beach there, stranger? Oh, please, mister, I'm cold and I'm hungry, and I'd love to have a place to sleep tonight. Well, I reckon I take kindly to strangers in distress. Come on in. Okay, this is uh, where you'll stay. This is your kitchen over here. And your pappy can bunk. Your pappy can bunk right over here, and if you got any little ones, they can bunk here. Back up. You can bunk over here, young lady, and if you got some writing to do or you want to do some eating, there you go. There's your kitchen table and your dining table and your desk and your study. Oh, I see. Here's your wood pile and here's your little stove right over here. All righty then. Oh. This should be very comfortable. Thank you, sir. And if you got to go, go out this door here. Watch for bears, you know. Oh, yeah. This is the back door, we call it. <laughs> and you meander around a piece up there, and you'll find the old outhouse. All righty. Welcome to the Harrison Lagoon Cabin. I hope you have a fine stay. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to be mighty comfortable. Thank you so much. All righty then, ma'am. All righty. This is what we're going through to get to this. We're going to follow that creek all the way up to the lake. So, Dad! Fine. Dad! Whoa. Oh, whoa. Dad! Oh, uh, here we go. Stop. Now, this is what you call Alaskan. Past my Alaskan post holing. These, are, these drifts are just sucking us up. Uh, uh, obstacle course type uh, dangers that there are on this excursion. Okay, well it's a little early for hiking in here, early in the season, so get out of there, Erica. I'm trying. And let's go. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we made it to the lake. It was a tough hike. It set a mile on the map, but you know what? It seemed like it was 12. We made it. Dad is fishing, hoping to catch some grayling for dinner. We'll see. I haven't seen much activity yet, but he's hopeful. So we made it. We made it to the lake that feeds Harrison Lagoon. Well, we're on our way back from the unnamed lake above the lagoon is the waterfall there's the hunter hunter erica with her fishing rod and fishermen. we didn't do too good on fish up there no and this is all the snow we're hiking through on our way back that downhill is going to be tough 
Yeah, it is. We cross country skis. Cross country skis or snowshoes. There's our tracks. We've got to follow our trail back over all this wonderful snow. So look at this scenery we get to look at on the way back. Cloudy, still beautiful. As you can see, Erica's taking a break on the beach and she's dressed in her very wet Gore-Tex right now. It happens to be raining at the moment. It is raining. We are in four, three to four foot swells. We're a little worried about the... We pulled up on a little beach here in Bettles Bay. We're in a little quiet lagoon, a little quiet uh, bay out there. You can see it's uh, kicking up a little bit. We can make it, Dad. Erica keeps saying, we can make it, Dad. Looks like three, four foot swells. Sometimes I can't even see Erica's kayak because she goes under them. I don't know why I'm doing this. Erica's loving it. I'll tell you, this is windy. And there she goes, just disappeared behind a swell. I don't know if experienced kayakers are out here in this kind of weather. Just us, uh, just us uh, rookie, uh, dumb rookies here, eh? I don't know. I better start paddling. Well, we barely got out of this stuff. It's starting to calm down a little bit, but it is nasty. We pulled up on shore, got swamped. I got swamped trying to get out. And then we looked for a place to get out of the wind and rain. And I'll show you our little abode back here in this jungle. Our own little private pond will be and home. home. Hello Erica. Much longer. Well, we're waiting for the wind to die. What do I you think? I think it's fine now dad. Yeah right. Let's go for it. No way. No way. I thought it was going to die out there. Yeah whatever. Well, anyway, we put up this little canopy, and... and what you see here is a feeble attempt to try and dry out anything that we have. Yeah. Everything's soaking. It's cold our and... our bums are wet. Our bums are wet, our right. Bums are soaking wet. Nasty. All the way through our clothes. Nasty tea, indeed. At least we have hot soup. Yes, we did brew up some hot soup and a bit of hot cocoa. It warms it from the inside. Yes. Now all we have to do is pray to the weather gods to... Please, get rid of that wind and rain. I'll take the rain, just get rid of the wind. But we got a cabin just right around the corner. Well, the cabin's about, oh, about a mile, two miles away. Two miles about, away. About two miles away. About two miles away. About an hour. We can't get to it. So we we're going to, we're going to wait here for a while. Anyway, well, here's our little A-frame at Pigot Bay. Really nice. Little loft up there. And uh, Erica will tell you about the experience of yesterday. All right, here we are inside the Picket Bay cabin. Dad making some of Anna Sully's homemade spam steak. Oh, spam steak. Yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta eat that spam steaks, you know, when you mm -hmm. got a cabin. Hey, it's pretty good, eh? And high in protein, it. high in uh, sodium. And high in everything, fat and calories. Oh. Because, boy, did we burn up some calories yesterday. Well, tell us a little bit about yesterday. Well, I tell ya. I don't think I would have done it if I'd had to do it over again. <laughs> we had four foot, three foot swells. Some of them were cresting. Cresting is the scariest thing I've done in a long time. Mm -hmm. And we traveled, what, 12 miles? And more about, than that, I think it was 15. About 15 miles through that stuff. We had to take a break at one point and mm -hmm. pull out because it was just, uh, it was just too scary. Mm -hmm. I got swamped and uh, we and so why did you end while. up going? Huh? Why did you end up going? Because my daughter, me? <laughs> my daughter told me she, you, we can do it, Dad. We can, we do, can, it, do, we it. can do it. Let's go. And we did. We and did. She was right, and I've never been more proud of her. I'll tell you. She, oh, I'll tell you. Changed my, uh, changed my uh, view of my daughter. She's, uh -huh. uh, Thanks, Dad. Grande huevos. <laughs> Muy grande. Muy grande. So anyway, she slept till. Uh, 11 o'clock. 11 15 today. <laughs> We're going to have some uh, boiled potatoes and I got some fried onions over here. 
spam. And some spam, and uh, then we're going to go out and see if we can catch any salmon. Mmm, that'll be good for lunch. I hope so. Oh. I hope so. Quiet evening, about going on 10 o'clock, um, before we have to paddle out of this beautiful watery paradise. Real quiet water tonight. We'll be leaving in the morning. Wanted to take a quick look at this awesome rainforest that uh, is on this side of Prince William Sound. It is so thick. You can see the mosses up in the trees, mosses on the ground. So very dense. Vegetation is amazing. That's our cabin there. Just going to kind of walk into the back yard here. Look at some of these giant plants. Don't know exactly what they are. Some kind of a lily it looks like. It's huge. It gets real dark in here. And then the sun is up because of the amount of vegetation. Everything covered with moss. Beautiful. We almost took a very long, uh, wrong way. So we're now on our way back. It's going to be the biggest one yet, the 18 miler. But it's a beautiful day with calm seas. Not as sunny as we would like, but this isn't bad. So we've got about another nine miles left. Okay. And then we're home to Kenai at night. So we can watch this lovely video. I'm so excited. All right, let's get going. All right, let's get going. Long way to go. Paddle time.